be my pleasure to invite uh, Mr. O'Connor and Dorok Sali from the, uh, uh, the Ministerial Council from the Embassy of the Republic. And it's great to have you with us today. Very good morning for all of us. Um, I want to introduce myself to the Brain Minister Council from the Embassy of the Republic of Indonesia. It is a real honor for me to be here with you all today. The government of Indonesia attaches great importance to the development of open government partnership. As one of the founding fathers, we believe that all of us will always have something to share and something to learn. And so I am very honored to be here representing my government to share our small OGP experience and learn so many things from all of you today on how government and community can work together to make better governance. As the 2015-2014 OGP led government chair, Indonesia was pleased to be able to host the first ever OGP Asia Pacific Regional Conference on, 7 to, on 6 to 7 May 2014 in Bali this year. The Bali Conference hope to introduce OGP and its values further to the region by showcasing innovations, ideas, and context that could facilitate greater collaboration ahead. The fact that we are here today and even jointly organized by our civil society, government representatives, multilateral institutions, and private foundation shows so that we are currently reaping the fruits of OGP Bali. I would like to touch the three issues on this three months. First one is brief milestones of Indonesia's journey in OGP. And the second is the changes that have taken place since we joined OGP. And the third one, what are the lessons learned, including or changing by the OGPs. Indonesia together with several other countries formally announced the establishment of OGP in September 2011 at the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly in New York. Indonesia at the time accepted the offer from the Obama administration to join the other founding fathers because they have shared vision to make a more transparent, accountable and responsive government which eventually will lead to better governance and public service policy. Since its inception, Indonesia has then joined as the OGP steering committee member. In 2013, Indonesia took up the patent from the United Kingdom and served as the OGP lead government chair together with the government of Mexico, Rakes Hajani of Tua Beza and Sunit Haimal from the Natural Resources Governance Institute. Ladies and gentlemen, throughout Indonesia Chairmanship for the past one year, our goal was threefold. One, strengthen the formation of the partnership. Then increase OGP's outreach to Asia Pacific region. And solidify national implementation of our local government commitments. 
to strengthen dependency, Indonesia helped to save the development of the ODT four-year strategy from 2019-2018, which hopefully would help provide stronger foundation for the partnership to rise. We work to ensure the ODP principles are being mainstreamed to post-2015 development agenda, which is very critical for our future generation. We have to expand ODP membership from 61 to 65 by the end of our chairmanship. And we managed to convince the Asian Development Bank to become our fifth multilateral <coughs> partner. Our outreach strategy has resulted to three new countries. There are Japan, Pakistan, and Papua New Guinea, which have indicated their interest to join the OGP. And the government of Indonesia is pleased to collaborate with our Indonesian CSO friends today here in Porto Street to offer any advice or support you need in your journey to becoming an OGP member. At national level, our participation with the OGP help to push domestic implementation of reform actions to improve public integrity eradicates corruption and enhance public services. This included the establishment of a single point for information services. Within government instances, both of national and subnational level. In 2010, only 1.9% of total government instances had the infrastructure. But at the end of 2013, this number percentage has been increased to 47.98% of the government instances have established to be communication with our constituents. We have introduced gradual movement of open school and open health services by opening up information on the allocation and use of government subsidy on these two sectors up from city to district level. Additionally, we have also put a lot of efforts to enhance transparency and citizens' oversight in the most corruption prone sectors such as law enforcement, budget, immigration, forestry, and land administration. Through all of this, one may ask what have we learned as a country? We learned a lot, and I may say some of that may be First, the highest level commitment in the government in promoting and implementing OGP principles principles is the This will help to ensure a more effective monitoring through how government agencies against good governance indicators. Second, on the ground of implementation. The ground of implementation, the ground of implementation proves that improving citizens inside is not a straightforward concept and that it needs further work which will not just change the way of government works but also of how government engage citizens in the development agenda. Third, different work ethics. Poor work ethics <coughs> and overly bureaucratized are generally the work friends shared by government agencies. We need to identify more reformers at all levels 
in the national and subnational level, and consequently strengthen these networks of reformers. And for the relationship among stakeholders will still be something we need to continue to work on. Different stakeholders have got different interests and background, hence require energy and effort to consolidate all this into a more coherent effort. Ladies and gentlemen, I am almost at the end of my remarks. I hope that what I have shared would inform and inspire you next steps as you consider <coughs> joining OGP. All in all, it has been a very rewarding journey to become a member of OGP and we have learned so much from it, both domestically and internationally. I thank you so much.